Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jackson from Loveless Vintage here, and today we're gonna to be going to the bins. Since April, I have been to the bins, I think, three times, and each time I've only been for a couple hours. It is now the beginning of September. So as you guys can tell, it's been a while since I've had a full day of sourcing. Kinda of took the summer off, so let's get back to it. See the state of the bins, see the quality there. It's been kinda of going downhill, as has Depop. Depop's been super bad the past few months. So yeah, it's a very interesting time right now in reselling and thrifting, at least for me. Let me know in the comments if it's the same for you guys, but we're gonna go today, go to the bins, spend a full day there, see what I can get. Hopefully I get something good. Drop a like on this video if you want me to keep doing thrift content. I would really appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe as well, and let's get into it. digging in this bin and look at what I spy. Look at this. Champion running man. Oh, it's chopped and it's stained. I think it's kids too. Oh yeah, it's a size eight, but still, it's a pretty good find. Okay, besides the running man, which I just found, we don't have much, honestly. There's not much to talk about. I think I'll show like a few pieces, but Half of this stuff I could honestly throw back. Okay, some other notable finds. Kurt Cobain, it's for sure like 2000s. I cut tag, but pretty cool graphic. Grab that. We got the Loveless special. We got the Morning Sun, just the flowers. And then this one's really cool too. This is like a late 80s, early 90s XL Haynes. The Art Institute of Chicago with all the different like signatures or whatever. I thought this was really cool. It's dated 84, I believe. So that one's pretty dope. Also grab this for my dad. I think it's gonna be a little small on him, but he loves the Shelby Cobra. So we got that, I think that's the back kit. This is the front, Shelby American Legend. That's gonna just be for him. Always turn those shirts outside in. I found this shirt inside out. Modern Warfare 2 on this tag, size large. With a back kit, it's not licensed. I've never seen this design before, but it's definitely really sick and it was inside out, so. Make sure to turn those shirts outside in. All right, it's lunchtime, so we're about to go to lunch. I have a lot of stuff in here that I haven't really shown off. Probably show a lot more stuff when I get home. I found a grip of these like tan navy shirts. I haven't looked them up yet. I don't know if they're worth anything, but I think I at least want to keep one for myself. They're really clean, authentic navy originals. I have no idea. They're probably not worth much, but I found like 10 of them. So I might keep one. I want to look them up. I found some other really cool stuff that I'll show off later. Uh, but yeah, we're going to lunch. Okay, back from lunch and we have some finds, just some light stuff. We got a Harley, our heart hoodie. I think these are 80s. Levi's like cords, they're bell bottom. And then this shirt is really sick. It's like a racing tee, the back is really dope. 90s one, a pretty full cart, honestly. Decent amount of stuff, so I'll show you guys everything when I get home. This one is so sick. It's a youth double XL. But 1997 Lost World Jurassic Park, like all over front print. Nothing on the back except for this little logo hit, but still really, really sick. Two huge stacks for, I think it was like $83, $83. Look at this find that Abby had though. So cool, I love the blue. That's really awesome. I'll show you guys everything when I get home. All right, we are back home with a giant stack of clothing actually i got a lot of stuff today like way more stuff than i thought that i got like when my total was announced to me and she said 83 dollars and 47 cents i was like are you serious 39 pounds i think the prices have gone up to i think it's two dollars a pound at my bins now but yeah no specific order i'm gonna go pretty quick because i don't want this video to be super long but on top starting out i did get a potential personal it's i don't know what this material would be I, it's not like corduroy or anything but i got this vest and honestly ben's mom abby she convinced me to uh maybe try it out i'm gonna try it with like a fit or something i like that it's open i don't know my other friend uh brooklyn shout out brooklyn she said that if i wore like a tank top under it with like some light denim jeans it would be kind of a fit i don't know i i've never had like a vest like this but i thought 
I might as well try it at the bins. This was like probably $2. So I can't go wrong with that. So I like the color. I like the material. I think it fits me really well. So that is the first item. And I think there's actually a few personals in here that I got, like just some basics and stuff. But this boy, we have the 4XL tall. We got the, what does this say again? Yes, see what I see? Money, Benjamins. All I see is dollar signs. This shirt is, look at this shirt. This shirt is actually crazy. So this one is like a 2000s one. It has rhinestones all over it. All right, I switched the stack over here so I have more room to talk about the items. I just got this 2000s blank size large. I just stack these up and sell them. Like I'll sell like 20 at a time for a certain amount. People print on these. I've even really considered starting to do my own like designs or bootlegs on vintage blanks. I've always been super opposed to it, but I don't know. Like I just think that since the state of like Depop and vintage has just been like so stale for me like I want to create something and I feel like I could create like a really cool boot like it'd probably be music or anime related but yeah I don't know so I might start uh using these myself we got some nice little just bread and butter like eBay stuff I got this XL Patagonia like button up definitely not the time of the year it's about to be fall but uh this is definitely very like spring summer I don't know how much these go for I'd assume they at least go for like 20 bucks or so but size XL Patagonia button up if you guys are interested in anything make sure to follow me on Instagram DM me just shoot me a DM say hey this in your video how much or whatever they'll be on my depop eventually you can follow my depop here i post every single day on depop we got the eye pack <laughs> this shirt is crazy the eye pack with the glock a decent amount of the shirts i got today are kind of like jokey like this and i assure you guys stuff like this sells on depop because depop is such a like lower age range that i there's just a bunch of kids on depop kids think things like that are just like hilarious so they buy them i got a pair of dickies just black dickies they're actually like exactly the the same as the ones I'm wearing now, but they're a little bit more faded. If these fit me, I'll probably just keep them. It's always good to have a pair of black dickies. If they don't fit me, I'll sell them on Depop for like 20 bucks or something like that. But another potential personal, we got the dickies. We got the baby fat. So maybe I'll uh, school you guys on some stuff right now. We got the iconic Y2K baby fat brand. This one has a, like a few stains, like light stain marks on the back. I think I might be able to get them out, but baby fat's a pretty good brand. I've sold, I think like one baby fat thing before. I don't find it too much but this is like pretty unique it's a puffer jacket it's all like rhinestone it's like really nice quality i couldn't find many baby fat puffer vests i found some jackets and stuff but all of them are listed really high like all the puffer jackets are like anywhere from like 50 to 150 so i thought if i at least get like $30 for this. It'd be worth picking up, but I'll probably post this on Depop for like 50 or so. I think that was actually a pretty good find. I think this is Valparaiso. I'm so sorry. I've never heard of this university before, but it's on a made in USA Jansport tag size large. I just really like the color blocking. And even if it's like a smaller university or whatever, I did find a crew neck that sold on eBay recently and it sold for like 30 and it was a 90s one. So even if I get like 25 or something for this, I thought it would be worth picking up. We have some thrashed car hearts. I think these are like 3830s. They're not double knees or anything but they're just like super paint splattered i feel like something like this on depop would at least sell for like 25 bucks we got a screen printed tag betty boop even though it's screen printed tag i i don't know it's just very like 2000s tattoo style i feel like some person on depop is gonna want this for like 15 bucks we have a woman's harley shirt again probably like 15 bucks or so on depop i think this is from 2000 and 10 or 11 or something like that it's just like a super bowl championship ring it's the saints i think it's like a medium or something we have two of these bvd blanks they're oh nice this one has some stains i didn't see i can i can like barely see them here but they show up on the camera yeah they have some like bleach marks that i'm seeing now but they're like 80s single stitch blanks does this one have any not really but yeah i got these again like just for blanks or maybe if i wanted to keep one i kind of like the color so i might keep one of them i actually got these for my roommates uh, they are the red dirt size XL shorts. They have pockets. They're very sick. They're like a very, very light orange. And yeah, he has a thing about dirt. So I got these for him. I showed this off a little earlier, but this one is crazy. 1997, the Lost World Jurassic Park. If this was an adult shirt, I feel like it would be like a hundred bucks easy. But honestly, this will fit like at least a small. This will fit like a small. I don't even know what it says. It says like pain. I am your crisis. That's like very dark for like a children's shirt. I don't know. But I think this is very sick. The little back hit there and the sleeves have some hits on it too. I have no idea for pricing on it. I forgot the year of this blank. I'm pretty sure it's 
70s, maybe a little bit earlier, maybe 60s. We have the Dirty Dancing. I'm pretty sure this was screen printed, but then someone added in like the glitter, but the graphic is crazy. It does have some like storage stains and everything, but yeah, a very cool like true vintage tee. XL, just Def Leppard, like little local crew tee. There's nothing on the back. I just thought for like 15 bucks or something, someone would want this or I'd throw it into like a wholesale bundle or something like that. We have the Bring Me the Horizon shirt. Amazing band. I've liked them since I was a little emo kid and I think their music uh, still hits pretty hard, so like them. We got the, I have no idea who this racer is. David Rudiman, I don't know. It's like a 2000s NASCAR T. There's nothing else on it, but it has like the chase tag size large. I, I don't know. I just thought I'd pick it up. This one's really cool. I think I showed this off earlier. XL, Eddie and Eric Hill. I think that's how you say it, but here's the front. Here's the back. I love this graphic with the little like lightning up at the top, but just a 90s like drag racing tee. These were passed over. They do have some stains. I'm gonna see if I can uh, try to clean them up, but I'm pretty sure these are 80s, maybe a little bit earlier Levi's. Here's the inner tag for all my Levi's people. Maybe someone can tell me, but I'm pretty sure this is like 80s or earlier, but they have just the little tab on the back. It's like a white tab but they do kind of flare at the bottom, which I like. Again, they do have some stains and everything. I didn't even look up value. I just kind of got them, to see if I could remove some of the stains, but they're nice like cream corduroys. But yeah, look at the flare. I really like that flare. Size XL 2000s Jim Beam shirt. This is like a dad's hot rod shirt. I don't know. It's like 2000s. Just stuff like this on Depop for like 15 bucks. I always pick it up. We got a Harley Davidson shirt. Uh, has some distressing to it, but front and back, I think it's like 2007. We got a Carhartt hoodie i think it's like a medium on the m and o tag really like this tag we got the victoria british columbia just little destination to you with some marks and stuff this one actually surprised me this is a i think six month yeah six months patagonia again everyone passed over it okay like almost all this stuff was in old bins by the way i like do not get anything from new bins anymore there's so many people at my bins now i just go through every single bin go through every single item and that's where i find most of this stuff found this in an old bin six months patagonia it's like a fleece zip up and like the pattern is crazy and i was seeing like some similar ones like this go for like at least like 30 plus dollars so i think that's crazy for like how small this is what a baby is going to wear this for like a couple months and then just grow out of it but i'll take it so i thought that was pretty cool these i think i talked about a little bit i'm not sure if i did but these are all like vintage military navy i don't know they're all like the pressed shirts i saw a comp for the exact same one sell for 30 and then i saw a different listing that also sold and it sold for 18 so i thought it would be worth it just to get all of them and if anything i would like put them in a lot on ebay for like 60 bucks or something and just sell them all i think i might actually keep one too i tried one on and it fit me really well seven of them so i don't know they're pretty heavy too honestly this is probably a couple pounds alone but i got all those i thought this was really sick honestly this is a disturbed hoodie and i don't know like this style is just like super in right now it kind of looks like distressed and it's just like the smiley face thing i honestly was like thinking about putting this on depop like really high i think there was only one other disturbed hoodie i saw and it wasn't this style and it was up for like a decent amount i was like dude honestly i could probably put this on depop for like 50 bucks and someone would buy it i could see with someone rocking this with like trip pants and like making a big fit out of it i don't know i just thought this was like very very in right now so i picked up this like disturbed hoodie we have the ed hardy like drink koozie thing and i don't know i'll probably just like end up giving this away in like a whatnot live stream or something like that or maybe i'll look it up i don't know if it goes for anything maybe it alone goes for 15 bucks or something like that but i just thought it was cool actually shout out abby ben's mom she tossed this to me i think i already showed this off too one of my cooler finds it's not licensed so i don't know what the deal is with it but it is a modern warfare 2t and it's honestly like the sickest modern warfare 2 graphic i've seen and on the back it says heartbreakers and life takers i don't know if this is related to the game i don't know if it's like official or anything there's no licensing but it is size large on this tag it fits the era and everything but i don't know for like a more rare modern warfare tee i'm not sure if like video game tees still like go up as much as they used to but i know i've seen like call of duty shirts like some of them go for like upwards of 100 so i don't know about this one but i think it's really cool i think that that's the second best call of duty game i am still a stand for call of duty modern warfare the first one call of duty 4 that is like one of my favorite shooter games of all time we have a chopped nike just basic like tank 
white tag, XL. I think this band is called Pillow Wraith. They're kind of like a black metal-ish band. I looked up their music when I found this and I, I thought they were pretty sick. So I picked this up. There's only one listed on Depop and someone has it up for like $18. So I thought even if I get like 15 bucks for it, I think it was cool. They're definitely like a smaller band, but I don't know. I'm just like a sucker for like black metal stuff. I had no idea this was a word, but feckin, feckin wrecked. And I think it's like Irish slang for like getting really drunk or something like that. I forget. I looked it up and I was like, okay, that makes sense. But this is a 2XL like drinking shirt. <laughs> this is probably one of the most like rogue things I picked up. I don't know why I picked this up. Size XL Gildan tag though, like a good Gildan tag, but it is the Colorado School of Mines into the streets day of service like they're going into the streets to clean up the mi the mines or like do they mean like mines like mining i think that makes way more sense i'm stupid because all i thought about was like explosives this next one is a gift for my good friend jackie the xl dead stock with tag glow in the dark design it is the knockin rockin squatchin the great pacific northwest sasquatch shirt couple more we have a gildan size large just new york city i just like the like serial killer like news font so i picked this one up i thought the blank color was really cool too i really like brown i've been into brown for like a couple years now. Long sleeve, Carhartt's, pocket tee. I think it's like a 2XL. This one is another one that maybe I'll keep. I don't know. When I find stuff like this, I think it'll look good on me. And then when I try it on, I'm like, dude, this looks so bad on you. But it's an Eddie Bauer. It's a vintage Eddie Bauer size large. I just like that the collar is like light denim. And then this is like yellow and blue and black. I don't know. I thought it was sick. Size medium vintage Tigger crew neck, fully embroidered with him on the back too. We got the Beretta. I feel like any gun related thing just sells on depop so we got the team beretta shirts keep your paws to yourself on the vintage gildan blank size medium got this pearl snap i just thought the color and the like design was really unique so and it's pearl snap so pearl snap stuff normally sells i wish this was older but i think it's licensed 2016 but the kurt cobain really sick he's got the clout goggles on and it's probably like a medium-ish maybe even a small the art institute of chicago i think i showed this one off earlier really really like this one size XL single stitch. The Morning Sun Grandma Loveless style shirt. This Adidas shirt is really cool too. I like that it's not a polo. It's it's polo material, but it's not a polo. It definitely needs a clean, but I just like the stripes and everything. Late 80s, early 90s, just Florida single stitch tourist shirt. Here's another personal. I just like the other week. It's of course the end of summer, but the other week I was like, I just need a new pair of black shorts. And here we have these size small jerseys, black cotton shorts with pockets. Let's watch scary movie like ghost face shirt size xl i've sold a couple of these like style parodies on depop they always sell for around like 15 bucks or so i think this is another mustang shirt it's a newer print but it looks like vintage but it's on like a new gildan tag but i just thought that print was really cool size small itachi size medium screen printed tag naruto i've sold this shirt before it always sells for like 15 bucks or so i cannot believe this is an h&m shirt it has to be like older h&m i don't know but it's a size xl it's an all-over print like cowboy on a horse shirt i don't know i i just thought it was really sick there's no way i was gonna leave this behind so i picked this one up even though it is h&m xl carhartt pocket tee and then the final item save the best for last even though i don't know the condition of this is very rough but it is the champion running man size eight so it is youth it is the Harvard University chopped and also pretty stained. Two huge stains down here. Sweatshirt. I honestly think like a very tiny person could rock this as is and create like a crazy true vintage fit with it. I think it would go super hard. The only one listed on eBay is actually my friend Cameron. Shout out Slam Dunk Vintage. But he has this exact same one, like exact same one, just not chopped and in good condition. He has it listed for $400. He told me he's had it listed for a while though. He he doesn't know like what it'll actually go for. I'm just hoping that I can clean it up and get the stains out. And then I don't know. I'm just like completely open to offers on this. I'm not a true vintage person. I know people go crazy for stuff like this. And like I said, I think someone could create like a really cool fit with this. If you're interested in this, hit me up. I'm going to try to get the stains out. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that this was just chilling in an old bin. I literally just saw the tag first, which is crazy because... Yeah, some of these can go for a lot of money. So yeah, my second champion running man, pretty shocking find. And that is everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys like the thrift hauls. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was. And I will keep doing these videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jackson Loveless Vintage. Peace out.